Capricorn, welcome. We are here right now looking to December 2023. This is actually when your season starts, starting in mid-December. So anyway, happy birthday to the sign of Capricorn, okay? And we're here right now looking into this energy. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. So two decks I'll be using. One is called the Tarot and Space deck. And this one right here, um, the comets are the cups, the lasers are the swords, the rockets are the wands, and the planets are the pentacles. Tarot and space deck. And I'll also be using right here the love oracle as well. So Capricorn, before I clicked on your video, I got a channel message to you. And the channel message was count your many blessings. Because it only comes one time a year. Or something is only happening one time a year. Or once in a lifetime. Something like that. I feel like one time a year. That was the actual message I got. So something here may only come one time per year. So count your blessing about it in some way. Okay. What's the message right here, please? December. This is Capricorn 2023, please. Okay. Romantic feelings right here. Hmm. Is it a love? Could be a love for some of you. Okay. I see here. Crossroads right here. So I'm not sure if somebody's name is May or something is about the month of May. About feel like somebody's name is May. Okay. Let me see. Let me see what else here. This is Capricorn. Huh. Hmm. Unbelievable. Snake card right there. Huh. See, I feel like something only comes once a year. Hmm. And somebody has to make the right choice here, I feel. Okay. What choice will somebody make? Hmm. Will they be tempted right here to be shady in some way? Hmm. Because, see, somebody's at a fork in the road. At the crossroad. Yes, I know. Wrong or right. Okay. Hmm. They might even have two lovers or two houses, okay? Romantic feelings. I feel like in love with two or something, okay? A choice between two, something like that right here. Okay, let me see here. But the channel message is count your many blessings. Something comes once a year. Because I feel like you are going to get a chance again. But it might not be until next year. So be. Or oh, that's them. Or something like that. Is the right here, please? Yeah, the magician card right here. Hmm. See, I feel like that you're consciously aware that something makes you happy or something like that. Or this is a Gemini or Virgo right here. Because this one says happiness right here, and it says emotions. So I feel like you're very consciously aware of something makes you happy right here, all right? Um, or that you are in love or something like that, okay? But I just feel like you have multiple options or um, right here, right? It's a choice, though, to go towards the happiness energy or to be shady or to be tempted. I feel like the devil card, like, you know? The devil can sway us off in some way, right? So, will I go right here where I'm in love and happy emotions are? Or will I go this way over here and be shady or deceptive or an uh, enemy or something like that? Which way will somebody do? Yeah, see right here. See the, they see the, um, the juggle energy? Which way would they do or something like that? Um, what's the match right here, please? This is um, Capricorn. Anything I say here could be you or somebody else. Okay, it doesn't have to be you. Yeah, I'm definitely getting out of Virgo right here. Hmm. A Virgo. This one right here is Virgo. And then this one right here again is Virgo. Okay. Maybe you even deal with two Virgos. Could be the case for some people here. Okay. So I feel like this Virgo makes you really happy right here. Okay. Definitely. But I also kind of feel like the I don't know, but I'm getting like the Virgo energy also makes you feel like um 
What's the word I'm trying to get right here? Okay. It also makes you free to be tempted or something like that. I don't know why I'm getting it. Okay. I'm getting like, you know. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like this Virgo energy right here, it makes you also feel free to be tempted or you can be yourself because the Virgo can deal with it or something like that. Right? Or the Virgo's not judging or something. Okay. What's the message right here, please? Yeah, the Knight of Wands right here. Mm. See, I feel like the Virgo is your happiness. You're in love with the Virgo, or the Virgo is. Could be the case here. Okay, but I just feel like somebody has more than one option right here. Or lusting, or something like that. Right. Mm. Okay. What's the right here, please? Because I feel like you do be lusting about the Virgo, too, or something like that. Or the Gemini, or whoever else. What's the right here, please? It's Capricorn. Capricorn, please. Okay, so here. Seven of Wands is reversed. See, I feel like you think the Virgo will definitely take you back. Or maybe they will. Could be the case, you know? Because they could be, or maybe they won't. Okay, but I feel like for some of you, you feel like the Virgo definitely is going to take you back. Okay. I'm getting like there's nobody like the Virgo or something like that. Hmm. Huh? Okay. Yeah, eight of pentacles right here. I'm even getting like the Virgo can figure you out or something like that. Like, you know, they know right here when you're tempted or you know that about them or something like that. Okay. So now it's just like, how do I get them to put their guards back down again or something like that? I'm not sure if you're doing a magic spell right here or they are or some magic could be at play here with that magician card. Okay. I don't know, but I just got like the, the Virgo energy makes you want to be bad or, or something like that. I don't know, but I'm getting something like that. Get my dad right here. Okay. It's like I want to be bad because... I don't know. Hmm. It's something about the vertical energy that I feel like you feel like they're not going to judge you or um, you could be yourself or, you know, something like that. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Okay. What's the message right here, please? Okay, yeah. See? Virgo again and Leo. I got Virgos, Leos, and Geminis right here. Okay. Hmm. Or well, maybe it turns you on that the Virgo be knowing or that the Leo be knowing or whoever else be knowing. The Capricorn or something like that. Okay, what's the message here? Yeah, four cups, see? Four cups of verse, right? It's like, it's not going to be a missed opportunity with the Virgo or something like that. And it could be because the reason why I feel like it's not, or well, it's like I can't lose the Virgo or something like that. I can't. Okay. Something about them is just bring happiness and emotions and like falling in love and affection and I don't know something about that day when Virgo is just like yes. Okay, but I just feel like you did be tempted over here or something like that. And I just feel like the Virgo can figure you out, but at the same time they forgive you or something like that right here. They're the sun card. Okay. I also have emphasis now on two Leos and two Virgos here. Three Virgos, okay? Okay, something like that here. Yeah, look at that. Three of Swords. See, it's like it's heartbreaking because you do love them, but at the same time, I just feel like that um, you do have other options here to be interested or you want the Virgo to open up even though you're married or something like that, okay? Hmm. <laughs> Ten of cups right here. So it's like I, I'm getting like somebody's like I need you back or I really want somebody back. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Now. Ooh, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. This is Capricorn. Let me see here. 
in December 2023. Okay. Justice card right here. Okay. And, and here's another thing could be. I'm not sure if you're crossing somebody because you want to be with this Virgo so bad. But I do see that you're falling in love over here with the Virgo. Or the Virgo is the one that you love or something like that. So I'm not sure if the Virgo is a third party or what, okay? Or is Virgo the main one? But either way, you're in love with them. I'm getting right here, okay? Something about them is happiness, affection, and everything like that. I'm getting right here. Hmm? And it's like, I don't want to miss it, right? Because I feel like the energy is so, it's like very loving or you fall in love with their energy or something like that, right? Or I just never heard you fell in love with their mind. Could be the case, okay? Or they fall in love with you, okay? So but this is a relationship right here, okay? And a chariot right here. I kind of feel like you have to have the structure and discipline around this one right here. Or it's a cause and effect for deception or something like that. It's a cause and effect for that, though, I feel. Okay. One more right here. Okay, yeah. See, the King of Cups is reversed, right? And the King of Cups reversed is somebody that's overdoing their control. I feel like you have to have the structure and discipline to, to control something here. All right? And I just feel like right here, because you do want to be with this person over here, but it's like I want to be with them. They make me so freaking happy. But something about their energy also makes you want to be bad i don't know why i'm getting that but i'm getting like it's right here beside it it's like but i want to be bad too or something like that <laughs> okay i want to be bad too in some way let's take a look at the snake cart real quick there's a snake cart right here you yeah, see three of swords he said gonna be heartbroken right here about being tempted right here or being shady or being deceptive in some type of way because I feel like your skill, you know they're doing that or something like that. Okay, so I feel like you know when somebody's tempted right here or they're being shady, you definitely do know that. Okay. Okay, you know that. I feel I'm getting right here. Okay. Over here, this one is like, ugh, I want to be bad so bad. I don't know why I'm getting something like that. It's like, I want to be bad so freaking bad. That's what I'm getting right here. <laughs> Right, it's like one minute I'm going up, and then one minute I'm going down. Those triangles or something like that. It's like one minute I'm creating, the next minute I'm not, or I don't know <laughs> something like that. What's the what's the manifesto part right here? I get like high and low or something, right? What's the what's the manifesto? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles right here. I kind of feel like you balance the energies or something like that. It's like, I want you so bad, but I also want to be bad in some way. In some way, some way. I want you so bad, but I also want to be really bad in some way here. Okay. What's the manifesto? It's like, I really want to be bad. Whatever way it's about. Okay. I really want to be bad. Okay. What's the manifesto card right here? The manifesto card is the magician. Yeah. See, Ten of Pentacles reverse right here. And the Page of Swords, right? Hmm. It's like you can see through them. I'm getting like here, you know. You make them so happy. I'm getting like this high or something. See how the triangles right here? It's like I'd be so high. And then down here, I go, you know, down or something like that. Or the high go down or something like that. Okay. Um, when I'm losing you, Ten of Pentacles reverse or I always want to come back to you or something like that, okay? Or I always spy on you or you always see the truth or you can tell when my energy is high or when it's low or something like that. I'm getting my hmm? What's the message right here? Or, or somebody brings it back up or something, okay? Three of Pentacles right here. Four of Swords. It's just like you know the truth about something right here. You know they want to be bad, whatever they want to be bad, whatever they're doing, okay, or something like that. I'm not sure what the hell they be doing, okay? But whatever they be doing, I feel like you know that they be doing it, okay? Because hmm? I kind of feel like you figured that you figured out their bad side or something like that, okay? Yeah, the world card right here and the Ace of Swords. I feel like you know it affects somebody right here how you be onto something right here, like you really be knowing something about them. I get the sense. 
in this new cycle, you know everything about them. Maybe you have really, really tapped into their energy. You know them. I'm getting right here. You definitely know them. I'm getting right here. When they contemplate something right here, they know even right here they can't have a third party or that they know why you're not trying to work together with them right now or something like that. Okay. I, I don't know, but I feel like this could be like, I don't know, but I'm getting like something about you make them high right here or the star. It's like you make them high or um, they have big wishes and hope for you or something like that, I feel. Right? Or you make them optimistic again in some way about life or something, okay? What's the, what's the magician? Anything else here? One more. Yeah, but I'm just getting like count your many blessings because something comes once a year. Hmm. Okay. Or once a lifetime, but I was definitely getting once a year. Okay, eight of wands right here in the fool. I feel like you really freak somebody out right here. How you be knowing when they be trying to be bad or something like that. <laughs> or how you be knowing something about them right here. I feel like you be saying exactly what happened or something like that. You know, that really, really freaks them out. I get a sense. Yeah, the devil card is right there. Like, you know when they tempted or something like that. You definitely didn't know them get right here. You know when to hold back, right? Or something like that, right? And so they want you back right now. Get right here, right? You have insight about something, something like that. Their bad side, you know it. I'm getting right here. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely do know it. I'm getting right here. Yeah. So I feel like this person want to apologize to you right here or something. Or it's like with the Page of Cups, you're the one they definitely want. Something like that. Because you know about them. I'm getting right here. Like nobody else knows when they tempt it, but you do. Something like that. You definitely do know. I'm getting right here. Hmm. Yeah. That's like really good news to them or something like that. So I'm getting. That's really good news right here. How you be knowing something right here. How you can see right through them or something like that. The Queen of Swords, you're very clear. You're very direct. Okay. I feel like you make them really attracted to you by you knowing something right here about them that nobody else can't see or know or feel. All right, or, you know, how they be being bad, whatever way that is, you know about it. I'm getting... <laughs> I feel like you just straight speak it out, whatever they're doing. Just straight speak that out. I'm getting right here to them or whatever. Okay. Now, some of you, they disqualify right here. Right? To rock a cell view for some people here. Or they disqualify right here until they balance something out in some way. That's what I was getting right here with this one. It's like you make me you make me want to do right, but at the same time I wanna be bad for that. <laughs> it's like they disqualify right here until they balance something out in some way. Some energy that they got going on, they gotta balance it, I feel. You know, because you can see right through it, I feel definitely. Okay. It's like nobody can see through the veil like you. You can see it. I'm getting right here. It's like, with that being the said, right? It's like, you're the one I want to marry, for sure. For my dad. <laughs> okay? It's, it's just too hard right here to have some type of obstacle or challenge with you. It's too hard to have it because nobody else could see them like you or something like that, you know? Or you complete them or something like that. Okay? Yeah, you're the lover. Just pray it. They love you or they won't be with you. I'm going to get my hand, you know? Hmm? It's like, I think I'm in love with you or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to end it right there, okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead right now and do a standard version. Thank you so much for taking a look into this one, okay? I send you all peace, blessings, love, and light, okay? Namaste to you. This is Capricorn.